Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I will be starting a Game Maker tutorial. Now, I don't support Game Maker. Well, I do, but I don't. I don't support Game Makers for people who are using these to create full-fledged games. I feel like Game Maker is for prototyping and teaching stuff. You know, like it teaches people like, you know, game logic, like what do I need to do, help like flow the program together. Be like, okay, what do I need to do, how do I need to respond to these events. Like, it gives them like an idea of how the code would look and like a really high level view of what the code would look from the event manager and like I mean I use game maker I'm not gonna lie I use it to prototype ideas because um, you know t for me to go through in C++ and SDL which is what I use for 2D game development for me to go through and actually like make those tech demos in C++ and SDL it take me a couple of weeks you know to throw together what I can do in game maker in like 20 minutes you know there's also there's a lot of reusable code I can use but I don't I don't like to do that you know, game maker can make me in an afternoon kink out a tech demo, see if the idea I had was actually fun, and then go with it from there. So you know, I, I actually support game maker for that reason. It, like it teaches new kids. It's it's like a real easy slide in the game development before actually getting into like code. You know, with like I, I would go like game maker, probably some visual basic game development because you know that that transfer. That, I feel like that's a good transition from like the high level stuff to code. And then from there to like C++, the C, the C language frame, because that's the industry standard. And you can get your library from there. You know, probably Visual Basic, C Sharp, find it a C++. You know, because C Sharp has XNA. And then C++, you got stuff like SDL, OpenGL, and then like you just have the world at your fingertips. Anyways, that's my little rant about it. So, um, let's Google Game Maker. And, okay, so I'm going to have to Game Maker 8.1 um, download. And then we'll just go to, yeah, I assume this is it. Yo-Yo Games. It's made by Yo-Yo Games. So, um, we're going to get the light version because I'm not going to pay $40 for a freaking whatever this is. Unknown time remaining. I don't know how big this is. Why did I choose it? Anyways, probably should have saved my rant for now. But, but I, uh, yeah, it's already done. So, um, we'll run this. And somebody's home. But anyways. So, start menu shortcuts, whatever, I don't really care that much, I'll, I'll remove them later. So next, uh, finish, yeah, we'll start Game Maker. So, um, oh my god, what is this? Anyways, so, yes, I'm going to enable advanced mode, get rid of this, and it's all cramped in here, because I record at a really low pixel, um, density, like, you know, screen mode, anyways, so, we're going to do, f well, you can get see over here, sprites, sounds, backgrounds, past scripts, fonts, timelines, objects, rooms. So, um, we'll start, we'll start in paint. I'm going to do image, attributes. I'm going to go with 60, no, 32 by 32. Okay. And we are going to, um, make this a wall block. Might as well. Yeah, that sounds good. So this will be a wall block. I know Game Maker comes with all of its little assets, but you know, it's always a lot nicer to make your own. And we're not gonna use that color. Yeah, there we go. So file, save, and I don't want this. So desktop, wall, and then we'll do image attributes, 32 by 32, and we're gonna change the height to 64, and I'm gonna make a player. Because today, um, I'm, I'm gonna do this as like a game tutorial. Like we're gonna make a game in Visual and not visual basic, I'm sorry. I'm gonna make a game in Game Maker. I'm just gonna lead you step by step through it. So I'm gonna just um, grab all this, pull it out, and our player is gonna be looking snazzy. So, pop. Do, 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 do. Give him some, you know, green face as well. Switch back over to black. Boop, boop. There we go. I like him. I'm gonna call him. Bill, I like Bill. It's a good name. So we're gonna we're gonna come over here. This create sprite button where you can go to resources, create sprite. Then we're gonna load our sprite from our desktop. This will be Bill, and we're just gonna call him player. And and we'll get into animated stuff later. And look, it automatically colored kid out of sprite um, with the white. And then we're gonna go to the wall, open. We'll call him wall. And now that we have 
are two sprites. Sprites are the images displayed on the screen, but sprites like aren't just like you know rendered. Sprites are actually put into objects. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the uh, blue ball and do create object, and we'll call this one our player. And our and his sprite will obviously be the player sprite, and he'll be click the solid button. We're gonna add event keyboard. Um, we'll just do the left. Um, right up down ones for now because what we're gonna do today is make him just move and that's it so left right up down and he's not gonna do any shooting and oh we're also gonna need the keyboard no key so first off for the no key the no key event means there's no key being pressed and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it not move and that's gonna apply to himself so for his left these is all under the movement and if you see all these tabs over here these are all like the uh, things you have I think I'll just go like you know one by one into all the stuff but uh anyways so we got our that one so our left what are we gonna do this one's left right yeah so I'm gonna do five up five right five and down five sweet so this actually will create an actual game we can play so I'm gonna just take we have our sprite over here on the side boom we got him now let's let's play let's see what he does so here's our game I hit the little green play button up in the corner left right up down look how easy that was so easy to make tech demos in this game that's actually why I'm kind of supportive of game maker but like if you're actually gonna make like a full version game no please don't and um I care if someone doing a beta channel. Anyways, that was a game make a little thing like that. So we have him moving around. Now, um, this the game we're gonna make is gonna be a nice, fun puzzle game. Now, we right now we have a problem. We can we can actually keep him inside the screen with some of these uh, events. I, I think I got this. Yeah. Um, which one is it? I actually don't want to do that. We're gonna we're gonna set up our walls now. So we're gonna create a new object, and this is gonna be our wall object. So we we'll just call it wall, and I hate it because it's gonna do that. This will just be solid. This is all it's gonna have. We're just gonna click that solid button, give him the wall sprite. That's all we need. So we're gonna go back to our player, and we're gonna add an event, a collision event with our walls. If basically what this event does is like, if there's a collision with the wall, do what's ever here in the actions. You know, over here, same with like if no key, if there's no key being pressed, do the actions over here. If left swing pressed, do the action over here. Up swing pressed, do the action over here in this tab. So we're gonna go if there's a collision with the wall. What are we gonna have? We're gonna have him stop moving. Okay. And come back to our room, and I'm gonna just you know zoom out a little bit and delete that. Okay. Now I'm gonna come over here, click this, get the wall up, and is this it? Oh, yeah, probably is. Let's delete. Why is that not showing up? Let's run this and see what it looks like. Why is that not showing up? Huh. It'll show up over here, which is weird. Damn, what is going on here? A wall. Solid wall. Visible checked. Okay. Huh. Oh, probably all this is color keyed out. Edit sprite. Yeah. See, it's all it's all transparent to this thing for some reason. So we'll just you know take some put make it black, make it black and gray, and we're just gonna check. Now we should uh come back to our room zero. See, look. And then I'm just going to get rid of all these by shift and right click. And I can get rid of all those ones. Now shift and left click, I can lay them down just like a paintbrush. And I'm just going to coat the side of our room in it. And here. And then I'm going to zoom out some more. Because I don't know how to scroll over. I'm lazy so I'm not going to learn how. Of course it's zoomed in a bit. So I coated the outside of our room. And boom. We got our guy. He gets to the wall, stops moving collides it's all good everything's all hunky-dory so I figure that's good enough for right now 
I don't think I put that much time in this tutorial, as in, like, you know, lengthwise. I did put time into it, like, thinking about this. Because I just got back from tech camp, and, like, you know, I, I was going there, like, it was a two-day thing. And I, I went there expecting, you know, to, like, get in code. And we did with, um, some web development. Um, it was, we were making Android apps in, uh... Adobe Dreamweaver, something like that. I think it's Adobe Dreamweaver, and like we use an HTML too. But I was lost the whole time, cause like you know, as as much skills as I like to think I have, it, I would like I don't know HTML, and like you know, stuff they were introducing was all kinds of weird to me. So I was like, the whole time you know, just kind of thinking about what's going on and not really knowing. But it was fine. I made it through. I made my little app. It was really cool. It was just like an app had like little. Like it was basically like you clicked a button and go like to a certain tab you set up about yourself. It was it was really stupid, but you know it was really cool to show like how easily you could create mobile apps. But like that kind of app development, I wasn't really into, and I got sidetracked. So I think I'm gonna stop this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. Next time, I think we're gonna add an enemy. <gasps> oh, yeah, I know. All right, see you guys later.